Hey, how y'all doing? This is the Plow Zone. You know, through the years, we've done a lot of interviews, a lot of interesting people in music. And here's another one right here, Mr. Barry Hobby, the last American outlaw. And also man of God. Let's see what he had to say in his part in Hello World. You're listening to Plow Zone. Yee yee. All right, and here's Mr. Barry Hobby with Hello World. How you doing, Barry? Hey, brother, how you doing? Well, we're doing okay out here, man. Any uh, you want any words of wisdom and inspiration to uh, the troubled times to anybody listening? Well, I'll tell you something. I've had a lot of people ask me about that. And you know something? I'm going to tell them the same thing I've been telling them for a long time. You know, back in the days when Jesus was talking, he told them, they said, uh, where can we hide when the end comes? Where, what can we do? How can we prepare? And he says, well, there's no way to prepare. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. It's going to be right in your face. It's your trouble deciding whether you're going to believe in it or not, whether you're going to feed into it or not. The Bible says give no place to fear and there'll be no fear. So my way of looking at it is, you know something, the blood of Jesus covers everything I do. I go and come as I please because I move in the blood of Jesus and I move under his spirit. And the day that he stopped me from moving will be the day I stop believing. So pretty much in a nutshell, you don't have to believe in and fear in nothing out there. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Nothing is guaranteed, and you are in the, the plow, plow zone. zone. Yeah. Right there is Mr. Barry Hobby, and we have Angie Riley, a close friend of his, on the phone right here. Angie, you there? I am here. All right, so um, moving down. So when did you guys really start playing together and doing jams and all that? Uh, I think it was 2017, it was springtime in, in 2017 that we got together, started playing. That's and, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. The, I mean, our, we had a good, you know, Barry's voice was, uh, his singing voice uh, was fantastic. And he, he kept that good voice, you know, into his seventies. And so we really blended well together. I was really pleased with, with what we were able to do together. So, um, so no, I was playing with him and he was, he was a good friend as well. You know, he had my back in, in all situations and it was very encouraging. Always somebody that I could look up to and, you know, always somebody that I could rely on for positivity in any kind of situation. Definitely. So, did you guys yeah. write songs together? How many did you do together? We, we did mostly his material. Gotcha. I was real pleased with the quality of the songwriting, so we did his material actually when we went out there and people people loved it um he had a couple that he never um, officially recorded but that there are several videos of and one is called one at heart um and that was everybody just really liked that song very positive messages in his songs and um but you guys have a couple- song called um um angie and the outlaw right you guys did we, we, we actually kind of build ourselves as Angie and the Outlaw when we were out there um, playing around Atlanta. So that was kind of the way we build ourselves. 